Hey guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we're going to be showcasing Mr. Fastest in the Universe himself, Birder, at Rainbow Status. By the way, for those of you who watched my last video, yes, I am wearing the exact same shirt as I was over there. But don't you worry, I don't wear the same clothes every single day. I just happened to be filming right after that one. And I was like, yo, there's no point in changing my shirt. I'm just going to keep it. But I just want to make that clear for anyone who's concerned. It's all good. <laughs> but that aside, we're going to be showcasing Rainbow Burger on an Extreme AGL team. I think what I'm going to do for the rest of this week is as these Ginyu Force guys are released, I'll be showcasing them on their respective mono teams. And then once they're all released together with the full Ginyu Force team assembled, then we'll do a showcase of the Ginyu Force team as well. Obviously, these guys are best on the Ginyu Force team where they can play off each other's uh, you know, abilities and links and things like that. But we don't have that option right now. I think it'd be kind of fun to see how they can do on mono teams, see if they're viable and see what kind of things, you know, they can do for you. So we're going to do Extreme AGL with Birder since he's out first. Um, here is what I did with his hidden potential skills. And I know some people are going to have some opinions. I know some people out there are like, yo, you should go with 15 dodge for Birder. His whole thing is that he should be dodging for you and like tanking and all that stuff, right? But um, I don't want to do that. I think this is the best thing to do for Birder is additionals and crits because he is a nuker and I think, in my opinion, his main role is to deal damage on the Kenny Force team and just as a unit. So I went with additionals and crits. If you went with dodge or whatever else you want to do, um, you know, more power to you. That's totally cool, but this is what I went with. His passive is interesting. So it, it's scrolling through, but basically what he does is he has a high chance to dodge as the first attacker on a team. But the thing is, it's not like he doesn't immediately get to dodge. You have to get him to attack first before his dodging passive activates. So if someone's attacking like before he gets to get his attack off, then he will have no chance to dodge. He will not be dodging for you. So just something to keep in mind. His passive is not as good as Khalifla's in that sense. Um, and his links are mostly kind of, you know, they're, they're kind of like Ginyu Force exclusive links. Or not even exclusive, but like, you know, centric. Ginyu for centric link, so a lot of them will not activate on mono teams, but he does have shocking speed and shattering the limit, which I'm actually really happy about. So we're gonna do a couple stages. It's gonna be you know a quick one, just a fun one to see how he can do, and then we'll move on. Well, I'll, we'll move on to Galdo, I believe it's tomorrow, and then the next one is Ginyu, uh, Jace, and then Raccoon. All right. So um, I don't really know like what the best <laughs> rotations are for this team, so I'm just gonna go with whatever. I'm gonna try to save some orbs for Birder so that he can get his, um, you know, get a solid boost on his super attack. Because that's, you know, the reason we're here. We wanna see what he can do. But let's see what Super 17 can do as well. I actually don't run him, like, at all. I know he gets stronger as he get, takes more hits, kinda like LR Goku Black. Um, you know, the damage looks like it's okay. I've actually never run my LR androids, they're at rainbow status, and I've never run them on like any single team, so... Ooh, there's, there's a nice little showcase for me there, so they got the additional attack. The attack stat is not super high, but I'm not surprised by that. A lot of people do say that they are the worst LR period, like not summonable or free to play, just like period overall, worst LR, so... You know, I'm not too surprised there. <laughs> uh, we got the birder, we got the birder, okay. So does birder link better with... Okay, well he definitely links with Super 17. And we can get three, four orbs here. This is five. So let's just see what he can do with five orbs. Oh, um, I also missed the new king part of his passive, actually. So his passive also is 10% attack boost per key orb. So he's going to get a 50% boost here, which is not great. But um, we'll see. We'll see what that can do for us. Here we go. 348k, okay. Can we get a crit off? Oh, no crit, but hey, that's actually not bad. <laughs> he only hit a little bit less, and he got the high chance to dodge. There you go. He got the dodge. That's only a little bit less than Super 17 hit. And my Super 17 is going to do even less damage than that, because he hasn't been hit yet, right? So he's not going to get um, any attack boost. But Birder with five orbs hit more or hit harder than my SA-10 Super 17. Interesting thing to note. <laughs> Interesting thing to know. And also, of course, he got the dodge off, which is very useful. Um, ooh, I'm excited about this Majin Vegeta, who links with neither of these guys. Wow, that's kind of sad. Alright, um, we're gonna do this then. Wow, I actually didn't know that Majin Vegeta had key issues on his team. 
Um, the, the blue item changes green to blue, so we're gonna keep those green orbs. And we're gonna use this red orb of Majin Vegeta, it doesn't really matter, we don't need his super off. If I wanted to do a showcase of Majin Vegeta, I would do a showcase specifically for Majin Vegeta with like linking partners for him and everything. Okay, there we go. Super 17 showing us some real damage now, because it was really sad. That first attack was really sad. That is almost a million. Not bad, I'll take that. I don't really know what to do here. Uh, should I... Oh, we're gonna have some fun! We're gonna have some fun! Let's do a Debora cookie! Let's, let's see what the Debora cookie can do for us. Here we go. Oh, that is... that, that that's nice, that's nice. Uh, looks like we can get everything but two here, and we can get everything but four. So we're gonna... Uh, that is the way to go. Okay, that is the one. Simmer 17 can take these orbs, doesn't really matter. I think he might be dead on this turn, but we'll see. 1.23 mil attack stat from Mr. Burger, and he got the dodge off. He has Ultra Instinct Burger going ham. I love that, I love that. Yo, Burger is actually kind of dope. Um, of course, you're not going to be seeing that attack stat like regularly, considering that was a Deborah cookie, and you're not going to be using Deborah cookies just like, you know, for no reason, uh, or on most events, but hey, I I dig that. That that is that is awesome. Okay, uh, let's just finish this off with androids. Sure, why not? And we're gonna move on to the next fight. And then I think after that fight, I'm gonna call it call it quits. I just wanted to make this a really quick showcase video, anyways. So there's really no point for me to go on and on and on. Um, ooh, oh, okay. Majin Vegeta links with Burger, which is awesome. Um, let's let's go here. Give him that red one. Like I said, I don't need his super to go off. And um, I'm gonna use an orb changer to change those green to blue. And then we'll give Burder. Oh, I guess he's only get, gonna get four orbs. Okay. Well, um, next next turn. Next turn he'll <laughs> we'll, we'll do better next turn. This turn, again, you're gonna see him kind of doing his average damage. I think four orbs is pretty standard. To expect from oh, we got super, uh, we got an additional off that's nice yeah I, th I think it's pretty standard to get like three to four orbs for each character per rotation uh, if you're not using items things like that then you know that's what we can expect um, but next turn we'll try to get him some more orbs maybe like five six seven less orbs and see if we can get some better damage off uh, here we go Oh, and of course, uh, for the androids, like their damage wasn't awesome, but at the same time, I didn't get their 18 key super off. So if the 18 key super was going off, then I'm sure the damage would be a lot nicer. But I'm talking about the androids a lot. This is not an androids showcase by by any means. It's a burger showcase. We're showcasing burger here. Here we go. Can we kill him? Can we move on to the next stage? Oh, we, oh, he's tech. Okay, of course. Um, and this cell actually surprisingly good. He is at SA1 for me right now, and he's hitting for 200k, like, it's not too bad. Okay, Birder, let's get you, oh, 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 okay, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. So we're gonna give him the AGL orb changer, and then we're going to give him all these orbs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 orbs, 8 orbs, 80%. And then the rest of these guys, I don't really care about. So, when I say these guys are better, 417k. These guys are better on the Ginyu Force team. It's because they all buff each other. You know what I mean? So, that, oh man, I should have, <laughs> I should have switched it up, like switched the target up, so that he would have hit the the other guy. Because I totally forgot his name. Wasn't it Sorbet? Yeah, Sorbet. So he would have hit Sorbet because he had type disadvantage there, and then. You know, the damage was not so nice, but what I'm going to do is save... Hopefully, I can save these orbs for... Burder, but I feel like he might actually... They might actually just kill Frieza here. Frieza's probably dead. Yeah, Frieza's dead. I, I think Frieza's dead. Um, but what I was saying is, like, yeah, the Ginyu Force members, they all have, like, passives where they boost each other's attacks and defense, and obviously they have those links where they get higher defense, a uh, higher attack as well. Uh, I think the Ginyu Force link gives them like 25% attack boost, so um, it's the damage is gonna, definitely going to be higher. But as you can see, like he's actually not too bad on an extreme AGL team with a Super 17 lead. Could be better for sure. Definitely, definitely could be better. 
but definitely not bad. And I, that's all I wanted from today's showcase. I just wanted to see if he was somewhat viable. And I think for a lot of newer players, if you want to run these mono teams with Birder and you're missing some of those, you know, optimal units, then definitely Bur Genial Force is a good option. So what I'm going to do actually is put him at the end here. Majin Vegeta didn't get a super off, which is great. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, six orbs. Okay, show me something nice, Birder. Can we get a crit, maybe? Maybe we can get a crit. We got an additional off already, so I'm happy about that. But I would like to see a critical from him as well, because he's starting to make me regret putting crits in him. <laughs> okay. 371k. And we get a critical off. Uh, nope, no critical. All right. But he did actually tank that for 50 damage, so there's the tanking coming in from Birder as well. Well, if we get the... Ooh, uh, if we get the... Doken attack off, then... He would actually be able to wipe him out, like, right now. But I don't think we are going to... Okay, there, okay, yeah. You know what? Hey, hey, this is good, actually. This is good because we can get the Doken attack off with, um... With 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 Birder, <laughs> I, I totally just forgot the guy we we're showcasing. We can get the token attack off with Birder, and that's gonna be a fun part of the showcase just to see what we can do with token attack. Unless Frieza kills us here, don't don't kill us, Frieza. Please don't kill us. Okay, we're good. We're good. Woo! Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay. Uh, we're gonna heal up because because we don't want to die before we get the get the super off, uh, or rather token attack off. And, um, hmm, interesting, interesting. Why don't we give these orbs to Sewer 17? Right, okay, okay, we got five orbs for Birder. And then, you know, the androids can do their thing, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this. Cautiously optimistic. All right, I'm gonna try not to miss any of these. Two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. All right. I tend to, un like, I do it perfectly 99% of the time when I'm just, you know, sitting on my couch playing the game. But when I'm trying to do showcases, I always mess up because I get nervous, you know? Okay, here we go. That's actually a really cool <laughs> super attack animation, by the way. 1.4 mil crit. 1.4 mil crit from Murder. Hey. <laughs> I know it's token attack. I know that he's not going to be hitting for that hard normally. But that was five orbs. And he got a 1.4 mil crit. Hey, I don't regret putting critical on this guy at all at this point. I think I think it was totally worth it. Uh, you guys can have your own opinions. It's cool. If you want to do dodge, go go for the dodge. He will be great with dodge, especially with that tanking as well. But um, on a Ganyu Force team, he's most likely not going to be on the first slot. I think he usually is on the floater slot because you want like LR Ginyu, you want Jace there, you want um, you know some of the other guys there. So. If you're having him on floater position, then he's not going to be in the first slot getting those dodges off anyways. So I think really his main role should be to do the do the damage, you know, to be, be a nuker like his, his passive says. So that's my opinion, but I'm just going to I'm going to keep I'm going to keep going with this. Um, four, three. Mm, let's do another Deborah cookie. Why not? We're going to end off the showcase with a Deborah cookie. Let's get another crit off with the birders. <laughs> the birders. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so this would be the best option. And that should do it. Birder should finish this off with no problem. No problem. Don't let me down, Birder. Let's go. Seven, 755k, and he's going to get a crit of 1.4 mil again. Yes. Yo, Birder, coming through with the critical to sh close to finish off the showcase. He knows we're showing him off, so he wanted to show out for us today. But that's it, guys. Just want to show you guys what the rainbow free-to-play Birder can do on an extreme AGL team. Like I said, my team needs some work. It's not the greatest, but it works for the purpose of today's video. And uh, there you go. Hope you guys are having fun grinding your Birders or whatever you're watching this, grinding whatever you're doing in the game. At the end of the day, Dokkan is a grinding game, so I'm sure you're grinding something. But um, that's the video for today. Hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And as always, 
what do I just say again? <laughs> oh yeah, if uh, it's your first time watching me and you like what you see and you want to see more of it, then consider hitting that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.